Hi, I'm Keegan Connor Tracy, and you are watching Fanatics in the Fan. Folks, that's right. You are listening to Fanatics and the Fan Vision Con 2018. Woo! I've had so much fun this weekend. Listen to this crowd; they are amazing. I never do this, but I'm actually going to inter uh, I'm going to introduce all of my panelists this time. Uh, starting directly to my right, he is a cosplay king. He is. I don't care what anybody else says. He is the mid. The, the, he's the Lego Batman. <laughs> Mr. Michael Decker. Give it up for Mr. Michael Decker, everybody. Woo, Decker! You having a good time, buddy? You having a good time? He needs a microphone, Andre. Hand it. Share the mic. Yeah, don't be, don't, yes. be don't, don't be Diana Ross, yeah, okay? Call me Diana. <laughs> no, always, always have a good time. Always have a good time. This is always a great podcast. How great was thing. the thing to be on? How was the uh, the costume contest last night? Oh man, that was, thing was off the hook. It was insane. Uh, every oh. year I say, oh, okay. if it ever is perfect, I'm going to retire from it and go out on top. I'll be back next year. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's always a snag. And there's then you snag. never got your picture with Eric. How was Eric? Eric Cat. was, I, I, I met Eric several years ago, so I knew Eric would be amazing. I, I wasn't worried about him being amazing. Did you guys, did you guys all get there. to see Eric? Do you guys like Eric? Eric Moran, yeah, he's, he's great. And Kit Quinn, uh, I've, I've known Kit Quinn just on social media for quite a while, so I, I knew she'd be... i got to tell a quick story about her and her husband, if I can, real quick. Of course, okay? real quick, because, you know, we're on a clock. One of her well-known costumes is she, sa she does uh, Dr. Mrs. the Monarch, and her husband does the Monarch. And you think, well, that's really cool. It's a neat couple's cosplay, but the actual story behind that is, is that they were at probably, I think, San Diego Comic-Con or something. She was in her costume. He was in his costume. They ran into each other. They'd never met before. And she's like, I got to get a picture with the monarch. And so they get a picture together. And then she starts kind of like following him on social media and kind of stalking him a little bit. Right. And so they kind of start interacting. And finally, they hook up and they get married. So they met as Dr. And Mrs. The Monarch and the monarch started dating and then got married. It's awesome. completely opposite of what I thought it would be, you know? My next guest, he's only going to be here for a few minutes. I'm going to just hand him the mic. But he is, for our show, he, he's, he's one of not, I'm not going to do Andre just yet. He's my very special guest. Um, but I'm gonna, the next guest doesn't know I'm getting ready to introduce him. Uh, he, he, he's a gamer. Uh, he's, a, he's a huge TV nerd, although he's a TV snob, if you ask me. Uh, but he's also what I consider our con king because he goes to every con on the planet. He thought he was just going to sneak on stage and hide and not get anywhere. He's, he's also the one that brought us one of our great sponsors from Drury University. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Brandon Shane. You got me for a little bit, so what do you want to talk about? What do you want, what do you want to talk about? Um, who's seen Alter Carbon? Not yet. Not yet. Love that show. Love that show. Uh, I don't know. We're, I'm just doing the introductions right now. Okay. Oh, I'm Brandon. <laughs> All right, I told Brandon that I would, I would bring a very special uh, guest for you guys this year. Uh, he is a 26 vet, 26 year vet uh, with, in gaming journalism. Him and I talked games so long last night. Jesus, yeah. um, I don't know. I don't know. How it was Brandon, exhausting for me. Yeah. I don't know how Brandon does this every year. That that five six o'clock in the morning, have, just sitting around talking about video games. But please welcome to the stage, Mr. Andre Tipton. And I didn't introduce your magazine because I can't pronounce it because I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> it's uh, realotakugamer.com. So just check us out. We cover everything geek-related, gaming, sci-fi, comic books, manga, anime, video games. Nice. Everything. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff with them, and they brought a lot of swag. Uh, Andre has, has ends with Nintendo and Sony and stuff like that, so he's awesome. Awesome! Um, one of our newest members, uh, she's a comic book artist. She's a comic book nerd. Uh, she's really awesome. Uh, she didn't bother to get dressed today, but that's okay. We like her that way. Anyway, please welcome Mindy to the stage. This is like one. This is not your first Vision Con, but it's it's. You've only been this here. Is my a couple, second. It's your second. Yes. Did you have a good time so far? Oh my God! Yes. Did you survive last night? Barely. You actually. Who all went to the Mojo party last night? That was so much fun. 
Shout out to the Mojo. That was so much fun. Like, just like we like got down to some Gangnam Style last night. <laughs> she did. I walked in to the party and all I see is a uh, Mindy's butt doing Gangnam Style. I was like, oh hey, so she's having fun. I had so much fun last night. Like, and I had so much fun working the booth, and I've had so much fun working, uh, like w- working the room in uh, the artist alley. I was. I'm very proud to be here. Like, this has been life changing. So, uh, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was like honestly, like you don't think like that working a booth would be this much fun, but it was so much fun. And then just like w- talking to the artist alley, and then work- doing the merch room has been a blast. All right, um, I'm gonna skip the next person because she just kicked me, and you guys all saw. You're all witnesses. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go to one of my favorite people. When I asked him to be on the show, I honestly said to myself, I don't know what you're thinking. But we're going to go for it anyway and hope for the best. Please welcome Skylar to the stage, everybody. You're also kind of a, go- a, con-, a con king, a uh, con god, crazy guy. You don't have mustard on your shirt this time, so I'm thrilled. No. Proud of you. <laughs> no, nah, I wore clean clothes today. How you doing? How's your nerddom doing this week? My nerddom? How's your nerddom doing this week? I, I don't even know. That sounds like a disease. <laughs> like, like, well, I put some ointment on. He probably did. I'm surprised Liz is sitting that closely. <laughs> and lastly, but not leastly, uh, my news person, um, I love her. And her, when her and I do the news, when you guys watch the show, you'll see that we have a very interesting dynamic in chemistry when we do the news. because Called frenemies. Because she'll say something, and I'll be like, what the hell are you talking about? They can't do that. Because they have, Mark, there's stuff coming out. What was that one we talked about last week? Not sure which one you're referencing. Sonic. I think it was Sonic. Oh, yeah, Sonic movie release. Uh, that's exciting. Yeah. They're what? doing a... W- 2019. A live-action Sonic. Yeah, Sonic! <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. And my reaction was, Sonic! They actually brought the actor. He's, he, that's, that's, that's him. That's really him. That's actually him. <laughs> Size appropriate and everything. <laughs> All right. Um, so okay, I have a name. It's Liz. I was getting to that. This is Liz, my news person. I'm going to let her do the news. We're going to, she's going to do news real quick. We're going to take a short break. And in, in radio world, a short break is literally two seconds. <laughs> so we can shove the commercials in later. So Liz, what kind of news do we have today? It's a really big story, you guys. Vision Con 2018 happened in Branson, Missouri this weekend. Yeah! <laughs> and that is the news for this week. Branson officially loves us. Am I right? correct, Brandon Chang? Oh, 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 yeah. Branson, they love when we come nerd out and take over. The mayor came to visit you, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's one of her favorite events to attend. She leaves her snooty black tie gala to come hang out with us and have fun. So. I'm sorry. Oh, and we are on the front page of the newspaper. I'll have my camera guy Woo! get a picture of that. So the Thank front you, page Gene. Of- nice. All righty. So that's how we start. Our, that's not how we start our show, but that's my panel. We're going to have a lot of fun, but first we're going to step away. We're going to pay some bills. We're going to talk to our sponsor. I want to really, 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 really thank our sponsor uh, this year, the Comic Force. Give them lots of love. Uh, they're here in Branson on the Meadows. They actually have a booth here. Uh, when we come back, we're going to get into what the show's really all about. We're going to nerd out. We're going to have some fun and all that kind of great stuff right after this. Comic Force, Branson's destination comic and game shop. Ow. Comic Force, located in the shops of Branson Meadows.
Chris Mulch and you're at Planet Comic Con Kansas City and you are listening to Fanatics and the Fan. Thanks for tuning in. Alrighty folks, that's right, this is Fanatics and the Fan and we are live at VisionCon 2018! I am actually going to turn the stage over to our fanatics and they're going to ask you guys some questions. I'm going to come off the stage and run the mic. Uh, there's a little coolness about what we do with that. Um, has everybody got a chance to enter into the Xbox One giveaway? Say yes, no, raise your hand, scream, holler, yay. yay. If you, if you want I know to. that family got like eight entries. It's $5 is the last chance. $5, you can get into it. I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys here in a little bit. You're gonna actually really, really, truly enjoy it. So, uh, Brandon and Shane, grab the mic. Let's talk. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? What's going on in your life? What, what was the last video game you bought? What, the last video game I bought was, oh man. A long time ago. Well, I, I bought that all, long ago? All checkers. Yeah. When For the record, Brandon and Shane is the president of Vision Con, so he hasn't touched his consoles in yeah, about a it's, month. It, yeah, oh. it's kind of been busy. But uh, no, I, I buy all those, those uh, when they go on sale, I just spend a lot of money. I just bought uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Yes. yes. Um, and uh, what else is that? Oh, I bought Ark. I, I just started playing Ark. Uh, it's the one where you're going around with dinosaurs, like open world thing. There's a dinosaur back there, right there. Just like that. That's and called Mario. It's a, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, what, what else do you want me to talk about? <laughs> you, is that Rash Clarette? Hey, Hawk. I have a question for you, Brandon. Yes, yes. As chairman mm -hmm. and, you know, head hoss for this, mm -hmm. how do you think it went this year? Absolutely excellent. And we have all you guys out there to thank for that. You guys are great. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, our sponsors, our vendors, our everything this year have made VisionCon another another smashing success. We, we love them all. Year. Yeah, Casper, amazing. Yeah. Um, and as, as well as Keegan, she was so adorable. Oh yeah. I think Mr. Whole... Decker had a question. Yeah. If you want to hand him the microphone. So you know we had the costume contest last night, and we had like amazing entries. But that's like just a portion of the costumes that are at VisionCon. And I know you saw a lot of them. So what, what did you like? What now, kind of stood is, is out to you? Is this question for Brandon or for them? Well, I asked Brandon and then, yeah. Because I don't really think we care what Brandon thinks. I do. <laughs> I want to hear. <laughs> I don't know if it's cheating and I don't know if it's favoritism, but uh, Eric Moran was in his overall. Yes. And I loved it. Absolutely Any loved it. Any fans of Orville out there? Yeah. yeah. Eric Moran tweeted that, uh, that picture, and Seth MacFarlane retweeted it and said, like, he was geeking out over it. And, so, we had, and Fanatics and the Fan retweeted it on the front of their Facebook page the two seconds later. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so, like, same question to the audience out there, anybody, like, was there a costume that was just like amazing? Not even necessarily in the costume contest that you just were blown away by. And unfortunately, this lady cannot win the Xbox One again this year because she won it last year. Give it up for her. <laughs> well, I'm partial to the Boo Fairy since she is my child, but I wanted to say that I posted her on Instagram and the Evil Queen actress reposted it. So it's going around as well. <laughs> so. Nice, nice. Yay. I think Adam had one. He had one to ask about, too. Just keep your head up. She, she gets a, just follow behind you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the alien. That, yeah, the, the robot and the alien. Um, yeah, they yeah, were amazing. The Ripley power loader the Ripley, and the yes. alien. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that one was really were, well done. Really, it was really, cool. Yeah. Did you guys all see that? That that alien robot thing? I'm sorry. The, the, the alien freaked me out. <laughs> the, there was one more uh, cool one I saw. Who's, who is a fan of uh, Steven Universe here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, Lars of the Stars it was a really great one I saw too. Loved it, absolutely loved it. Okay, um, I don't know how many other people saw him running around, but there was that really awesome Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed 2 that was around that was yeah, really I cool. That. I yeah, I missed You guys that see one. that? that sounds yeah, cool. yes. I did see that. This gentleman back here has got his hand up with a really cool Deadpool shirt that I'm probably going to steal off of him. Did you guys see this shirt? This really cool shirt? Cool. Shredder cool. in the Foot Clan. That's actually, they actually won oh, yeah. a costume yeah. contest. Yeah, they were, I see they that? were best to show at the, at the contest. Yep. Uh, I think Andre had a question for the crowd real quick. 
And I'm going to go over here while he asks that question. What is your favorite video game console right now? Who likes you the Switch? You just one, sir. Who likes the Nintendo Switch? This lady's going to give you me a hug while I, while I give her the microphone. Yes, I, I brought mine, too, so we can play Monster Mario Kart World later. Right now. It's Ooh, my, okay. It's my jam. And Who the, this, this, is a fan of the PlayStation 4? Well, hang on. Let me let this tell gentleman say what he's playing oh, okay. right now. Go ahead. Xbox One. Is that, are yeah, you here buddy. to win your Xbox One? Is that what you're here for? What's your favorite game? Right now, Fortnite. Fortnite, actually. Yeah. Very good game. Very, Very good, good game. game. Yes, Very yes, good dear. Game. Right now, my favorite game is Just Dance. <laughs> you and my daughter would get along great. I thought she was going to say Justice League or Injustice because we just had that tournament last night, right. which was awesome. And Liz almost won. I almost won, but Troy won. Injustice yes. 2. Which is, have you seen all that of the expansions? Troy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the turtles. Yep. I'm just awesome. Skyrim Special Edition. There you go. Any Skyrim lovers out here? Skyrim. Yay, Skyrim. Bethesda fans, make some noise. I gotta stick with the PS2 Kingdom Hearts. There's actually, we just did a news article on Kingdom Hearts, didn't we? Yesterday, there's a new one, a new one coming out soon. Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to set the world on fire. So, just Bioshock be ready. Infinite. Did you guys hear that? Bioshock Infinite? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, good call. Good call. I think. Mass Effect I think, 3. Um, yes. Mass Effect. I think Skyler might have had a question, but before we get to Skyler's question, I'm going to harass somebody no, that's, that's a, a big fan and guest of the show. Um, please also welcome another member of VisionCon staff and a super nerd. Say, everybody say hey to Andrea. Hi, Hello. Andrea. Hello. Hi. Andrea is my, uh, my movie god. Uh, her and I go to goddess. Bre goddess. Sorry. Well, I was trying to be gender neutral. Um, did y'all buy that? <laughs> no. We go, to, we go to Branson IMAX all the time, have great fun. What was your favorite movie we saw at the IMAX this year? Wonder Woman. Any Wonder Woman fans out there? There you go. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Woo! Wonder Woman was good for like, except for like the last 10 minutes. Yeah. I, I had not like the dude from that. Harry Potter where, tried where to be scary. Where she just bought Professor Lupin and he was, was on so fire. Cool, yeah. I actually, I mean, like, I mean, I just saw it for the first time like last week and it, I loved it. Like, I, I mean, like, it's like my favorite DC movie. It's, oh. Did you guys, did you all, whenever you watched Wonder Woman, were you in fact intimidated by that man's mustache? Because that was the most intimidating thing about that particular that's, villain. That's what she thought the end was just his mustache. It was basically just his mustache. <laughs> that was like Aries' mustache. And on that note, we're going to step away when we come back. We're going to hear from uh, Mindy and Liz and a few more of the fanatics. We're going to ask you guys more questions. You guys have a lot more fun right after this. That's right, folks. This is Fanax Fan. We are live at VisionCon 2018. And it's been 20, 
between 27 and 29 years, there's literally a debate with the Vision Con staff <laughs> as I've their actual number. I've consistently heard 28. It's, it's 27 Vision Cons, but they have been around for 28 years. There was one year that they missed <laughs> having a convention. We, have, we actually have a general consensus now. How long was that debate? <laughs> it wasn't one because I decided it. Andrea, <laughs> Andrea, that's right. So I want to talk to Liz real quick. Me and Liz, you guys don't understand how much love we have for doing what we do for you fans. Just setting the news for you guys is actually a two-day period, two-day process. And, and usually, hopefully by the end of that two days, we like each other. It's not a guarantee. <laughs> but we at least try. Um, any, any standout articles that you've done over the last couple of weeks that just you're like, I'm just still geeking out about? Super silly, but if anyone watched the uh, show before the last show that we did, a pop doll got leaked online, and there's just tons of spoilers on the back of the box, tons of them, and I thought that was hilarious, and I really enjoyed that article. And just so you get, so for you guys to figure that out, because you probably don't know, uh, Andre and Decker, what are you guys most looking forward to in Infinity War? <laughs> lots of lots of superheroes. Um, they they keep rumoring that we're going to lose a couple of guys. So, you know, we'll see who that is. It's I think this is going to like really really set the bar up as far as action in the Marvel movies. Um, you know, there's there's been a lot of them. I've had some complaints with you know maybe we're getting a little too too frivolous, a little too jokey, you know, with the, little, with the movies, sometimes. a little, you know, not, Guardians not of the as Galaxy serious, too, too as, yeah, maybe jokey. not quite as serious as they need to be, <laughs> so I, I think that's going to really change the game, it's going to, you know, surprise people, I think. Person I'm just looking forward to Teenage Group. <laughs> teenage I actually Groot. like that answer. <laughs> teenage Groot. I'm really excited to uh, watch Vision get destroyed. Yes, you guys do know that, right? It's yeah, that's. Were you guys aware? For those of you who know, this is a little bit of a spoiler. If you're not a comic book fan, there's no way for Vision to exist or for Thanos to win, and to context, or Vision to exist at the same time. Yeah, so. the the uh, Infinity Gauntlet can't be complete until they take that stone right out of his head. What? I'm kind of excited though because I love Marvel. I love pretty much every single character. We need to kill someone off in this series. <laughs> like, sorry, but too many. Done. So I think my, my artist, my, my, my comic book person, has got a question for you guys. So, uh, what was everyone's favorite costume that they, that they saw this weekend? Well, we already asked that. Did but, we? But here's my question, because I know we just did a show at the Comic Force. What's everybody reading it for as far as comics yeah, right now? Definitely. What's everybody's comic, what, what, do we have any comic book readers here? Is this even on? I'm they... reading Nest by Mindy Kilgore. Of course. I, now, I've actually read Nest by Mindy Kilgore. I love it. Have you? It. Ah. Superman and Justice League. <laughs> actually, we just did a story about uh, Scott Snyder and what he's working on with uh, Justice League right now. It's actually really cool. Working on Justice League? Justice League? Justice League? Yes. Scott Snyder is. This is Scott. What? I actually, no, I'm not working on Justice League. I know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I still I'm still broke. I'm still broke. I actually I mean, really like the arc with uh, Batman and Superman <laughs> on a double cool. date with Lois Lane and Catwoman. <laughs> that, that was cool. I'm actually, I think Liz is really excited about the uh, Colossus Kitty Pride wedding. Ooh. So excited! <laughs> so excited! Are you guys really excited for like six different comic books worth of a wedding? Because I can't stand at least two hours of a regular one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but are you really excited for the fact that Kitty Pride is officially in the overarching series of Deadpool 2, which means that she could be in the same universe, in the same movie as Colossus, and they could actually integrate the wedding into an actual film instead of just having to read your right six comic books. Which, that would be Is it awesome. Deadpool 2 coming out yeah. in June? Like, June? I have actually or like April. I, I'm so excited because I'm a, such a big fan of Deadpool, and uh, Ryan Reynolds just, like, embodies him, and I'm so, like... I can't even... I, I'm so pumped. Like, yeah, I can't, I can't even sorry. express. It's, somebody referenced Ryan Reynolds. I'm sorry. I've actually. I, I'm sorry dug for whatever out. I do whenever someone says Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang, hang on, guys, hang on. I've actually dug out my from the crypt my Peter Parker Spectacular Spider Man's one through one hundred. I'm gonna start those. Next. I love Spectacular Spider Man. Yeah, it's one of my one of one of few Spider Mans I actually read. Mr. Deck, what was the last thing you read? 
Uh, I've been reading uh, DC's Future Quest. It's all the old Hanna Barbera superhero type nice. of stuff, you know. So Johnny Quest, you know, Frankenstein Jr., Birdman. I mean, uh, it's just a great fun read. And then uh, also Matt Wagner's uh, Mage. Uh, I've been a huge fan of that from way back in the early '80s. Um, a great series. He comes out with a, a new volume every every once in a while. So uh, the new one's been it's been great. I've been looking forward to that for years. All right, I'm, I, I've been indicated, and I'm worried, and I'm scared. And Adam, hold me, because Skyler has a question he wants to ask you guys. Yeah, just, just uh, with, with noise and clapping and screaming and, I don't know, probably dying as well, I'm assuming. Uh, how many of you guys actually read comic books? No! No! Nerds. I think someone got impaled. <laughs> we might need a doctor. Yeah, no, that was actual death. That man actually died. Yeah, he's gone. Rest in peace. Uh-oh, Liz has got a question, or a beginning of a question. Movies. Movies. What's Movies. everyone excited about that's coming out? I mean, other yeah, than Sonic, we got a resounding 2018 is going to be story. amazing. And this little Deadpool. girl, this little Deadpool. girl literally jumped out of her chair when you said that, okay. so I'm going to find a way to... Um, I'm so excited to hear whatever it is she has to say. I am so, so excited for the movie Infinity to come out. There we yeah, go. There you go. There we go. Um, the last, I guess it was, the, is it the second trailer or is it the third trailer? The last one that came out right before, uh, the one that was at the beginning of uh, Black Panther. How amazing was that trailer? Oh, yeah. It was, like, it was the one that was released with, uh, during the yeah, Super Bowl. That was, yeah, that was great. I can't wait. Yeah, um, besides Infinity War, definitely Deadpool 2. We actually did a full 10 minutes on Deadpool 2 because of the post that it dropped during the Super Bowl and the trailer being dropped the very next day, which was awesome. Ant-Man and the Wasp. There we yes! go. Yes! We'll forgive yes, him yes. for that one. I could care less about Ant-Man I got one. Wasp. That's a good movie. The Incredibles 2. Yes! yes! I am actually slightly confused why they didn't age anybody, so it's basically The Simpsons. Because it starts like the beginning of it is right where the last one left off. It's awesome. Oh, that's it, so it's a continuation. Yeah. yeah okay. It starts exactly. with the Underminer, like it so it's time up travel. Minute after the last. <laughs> well, besides everything place, Marvel, like, I'm interested in seeing how they do with a Wrinkle in Time. Did you guys hear that? A wrinkle in Time. Wrinkle in time yeah. Yeah. My favorite director of all time, right? Hawkeye got one. Uh oh. I am looking forward to probably the biggest nerd fest movie that's ever been put to screen Ready Player One. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's the one I was actually been waiting to hear. Um, every time I see that trailer, I see something I didn't you see find the something last. different. It's like, there's Every the Mach time. 1, there's the Iron Giant. Oh my God, there's the Batmobile. <laughs> it's just it's, so cool. It's, it's so amazing. Um, we, uh, we actually do a lot of stuff with VisionCon, and VisionCon has a great deal of stuff that they do with the Branson IMAX. Oh, yeah. uh, we've had a partnership for almost four or five years now uh, with the Branson IMAX, and it's been one of the most wonderful things. They do so much for us. Uh, and we get to go to their premiere nights. We get to go see big movies on a big screen. Probably my favorite that I ever saw there uh, was uh, Jurassic World. And because if you're going to watch dinosaurs, you've got to watch dinosaurs in real life. So, uh, and that's coming out this year, too. The new one's coming out this year, too. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm most excited How about. How awesome is that screen? Oh, it is one of the best hands-down theaters in the country. It's, it's one of the few... Uh, laser projection. One of it's it's absolutely outstanding. I think I think maybe something. Uh, real quick. What's everyone looking forward to coming up in TV right now? What's going? Yeah, on we're actually TV? we're kind of in the middle of highlights. What's what are you guys looking forward to coming up? I love I love your your. Did you guys did you make that here? They made it one. They made one. They had one big enough for you. I mean, <laughs> this is a beefy boy over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Cloak and Dagger. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very I, much. Am I the only one that's angry that it's taken so long to come out? <laughs> I feel like we've been waiting for a cloak and dagger for like two years. Looking forward to American Gods coming back on. Yeah, it's an amazing series. I saw more hands in more places. Okay, I, I, I was gonna pass by Adam, but I'm gonna let Adam Bass talk because he's right. I am so looking forward to this. Tonight, Walking Dead comes back on tonight. Yeah. Yes. yes. The beginning of the end, I hope. <laughs> the second season of Orville. Yes. yes! Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to try to get to all of you. I'm going to try to get to all of you, I swear. Uh, Westworld? 
Oh, yeah. Did you see the yes. trailer during the Super Bowl? Did you watch the Super Bowl? Because I, I all I was looking for was the trailer. I saw nothing. Like, literally, that trailer freaked me out. I'm like, all right, yeah, we got to start watching this. All right, hang on, hang on. Right. Uh, I'm looking forward to Z Nation. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, we even know some people that actually work with them a little bit. <laughs> Stranger Things. Stranger yeah. Things Season yes. 3. Actually, have they signed to Season 3 yet? Do we know? Uh, I'm talking about this Halloween, I'm sure. I, I mean, I'm pretty they sure they've got to. A year in the last time. Second season of Jessica Jones. That's yeah. actually oh. next month. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Who. It's like next month. That's... That's dropping. And I've been looking forward to like I didn't I'd never heard of this series, but the posters we were giving away at the booth, Marvels and Humans, I'd never even really heard of that. I oh, really uh, want to see that. I'd like to hear uh, more. It's, it's, it's gone. It's yeah. gone. Well, we had posters yeah. for it at, at the booth, and I'd never heard of it. And I just yes. it's a gone, series. So those posters are extra not, collectible but we had now. Posters, and series of unfortunate nice. events seasons too. I'm actually looking forward to that yes, as well. Me too. I, I will look forward to anything that has Neil Patrick Harris dressing up in a multitude of different costumes. That's both like a, like a great cinematic experience and something I talk about frequently in therapy. One of my, f <laughs> one of my sleeper favorites is actually uh, uh, two of them. One was so great, I didn't know I was like, how'd they do this? Travelers. Uh, I think me and Brandon were watching a lot of Travelers. It's the weirdest time travel show ever made and it's so unique. And one of the things about it is it's it's constantly reinventing itself because of the way they do time travel. And what, cha what channel is that on? So, that is uh, Netflix original. Netflix. Okay, yep. wow. Travelers. Got and it. An, and another ahead. Netflix Continue. original that's, that's... We got one more. So, I'm, I'm headed there, but I want to talk to you guys about this because this is a brand new. And okay. Liz, Liz and Josiah actually get her. My camera guy, Josiah. Give it up for my camera guy, Josiah. Muskrat. He likes to be called Muskrat. It's because he looks like one. Um, and of course, my other camera guy, Dylan. Huh? He's not going to point the camera to himself. So since eight said that they were gonna do a two hour finale and they changed it to a two hour episode. Like they've completely changed the name on purpose. So who knows what we're gonna get with Sense Eight this year. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for Krypton to start. Yep. A friend of the show actually recently auditioned to do the after show. Uh, he didn't get it unfortunately. Some some of his friends got it. Um, so it's gonna be quite, quite interesting. Doing a time check for my sound guy. How's, how, how about give it up for the sound guy all weekend? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So I have a TV to throw out before we switch mm. topics, though. Magician season four. Yes. yes. Well, and while we're on sci-fi, Siffy. The Expanse. <laughs> the Expanse. Oh my gosh! Abs I'm so excited for season three. Absolute I, best so show. Yeah. I, I think Siffy is two awesome. Binge watch season two in like a day. Um. God, I love you. I love you guys. You guys having a good time? from Final Fantasy Unlimited, and this is Fanatics in the Fan. Comic Force, Branson's destination comic and game shop. Comic Force. Located in the shops of Branson Meadows. Alrighty, folks, this is Fanatics and Fan live at VisionCon 2018. 
My name is Hawk. I am your host of the show. We are on. Uh, we try to put something out every week, but at the least, we're gonna do something every other week. Uh, I want to thank. Welcome back to. Welcome to the stage, my Walking Dead expert, Mr. Adam Bass. Give it up for Adam, everybody. Adam Bass. We love everybody. Everybody that helps us. Everybody that supports us. Everybody that has our back. Uh, everybody that does everything they can to make this possible. As you can see, this is not a small operation. We're actually missing two people that couldn't make it. That's how, that's how much we go all out. Um, I love, love doing this show with these people. The, it, is, it is an absolute honor. Uh, actually, coming up in, coming up in uh, uh, two weeks, I believe, we're going we're gonna to do, do a Vision wrap-up show. And we have partnered with partners uh, you can't just walk down the aisle like a normal person you know every eye has to be on you that's because she's beautiful so we're gonna actually really we're girl. gonna we're gonna get the girls from Branson after hours to nerd out with us uh, on our show in two, about two weeks Did you have a good time Oh yeah, I always have a great time at Vision Con. I love dressing up. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this from you. Bye, Hawk. Uh, no, I love dressing up. I love seeing all the creativity out here, meeting all the people, and of course the parties. Who doesn't love a good party? I want that. Why can't I have it? That's gonna be like I said, that show is gonna come up. Uh, hopefully the week the week of March 11th. That show with the Branson After Hours and okay. Um, and so on that note, we're gonna thank our people and we're gonna give some stuff away. You guys like that? So um, I've got it, huh? No, God no. Uh, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Uh, who, who are we thanking, Brandon? Well, first of all, we would like to thank, and me too, VisionCon and all the staff that's put all this on this weekend. And that does include Brandon. So a second round of applause for our chairman, Brandon. <laughs> Mr. Decker. Well, I'd like to thank the Paddle Wheel. Uh, that's uh, the official location of this year's Geekmas, for one thing. Um, they're a big sponsor of VisionCon, and uh, it's a great place to hang out and have a couple of drinks and have some food. As a gamer, I want to thank Meta Games Unlimited. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as a comic artist, I would Got like to thank it. OTC Print Shop, who I, is a very, very good print shop. Today. Everything you see that comes from us that has to be printed, including our charity calendar you guys need to check out comes from OTC Print Shop. As a producer, I'm going to thank like six people, so bear with me. I need to thank Ozark's Marketing Group, High Quality Communications, who provides our Xbox every year. Uh, Branson After Hours, yeah, girl. Uh, Nerds for Entertainment, and Real Otaku Gamer. Thank you. Your turn. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Okay, I'd like to thank Works of Art, Branson, IMAX, and the Creamy Art Creep. Creamery Arts. Creamery, the, the Creamy Arts Center. Brandon, creamy hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Is there anybody left on the list? <laughs> there's there's like, one. There are 20 people on this list. Because a lot of people help us. We need to thank everybody. No, God on it. Hurry, go. Com go. Well, comic Force. The Comic Force. Comic have, Force. And where, where are they from? The shops at Branson, Branson Meadows. <laughs> I wish Josh was here. <laughs> Oasis Wrestling. That's a new organization that starts uh, in a couple of weeks. Galleria Engraving, Oasis Wrestling, Kira Kira of Springfield, Heroes Alliance, who we are supporting tonight, and the production crew of all the fanatics and the fans. We want to thank you guys who are out here participating with us tonight. Give it up for yourself. Do you know who, who, who's not on this list that we need to thank? All Hawk. of our guests that came out. Yep. All of our yeah. guests. All of yes, our guests yes. that and came out. Did you guys enjoy? Yes? Yeah. And, and we need to thank one more person who, without, we cannot have the fan without the fanatics. Or the fanatics without the fan. Mr. Mr. Hawk, Hawk Holman! Holman. Yeah! I'd also like to personally thank Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> For no other reason wait, than wait. making me insecure. Hawk, we, we can, I, can I thank you? No. We, we, can I? No. Howard the Duck? Someday he up. will be on the screen again. Howard, we want you back. As a filmmaker, <laughs> it saddens me to, to say that he's probably right, and there will be a Howard to duck. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give away some stuff. We're going we're gonna to end the show. We're going to end the show and give away some stuff, okay? So just bear with me on that. So that's everybody we want to thank. We want to thank all of you guys. Did you guys have a good time? 
Check us out on Facebook as Fanatics and Fan, on Twitter, Fanatics and Fan, on Instagram as Fanatics Fan, and of course on YouTube, Fanatics and the Fan. And more importantly, check us out at VisionCon. Did you guys have a good time? All right, that is it for Fanatics and the Fan, VisionCon 2018. All right, let's give away some stuff. Who's got the first ticket? Vision Cons Marketing Department. And I am the Vision.